Divine Feminine. What's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm a chirping or not tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. So I'm here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I do pre-shuffle, lay some cards out just to see what's going on with you. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single divine feminine. Give no fib knocks. Info for private readings will be below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the exit mark. Get the fuck on, right? Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in tarot land, G. To everyone else, thank you for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love you. All right, moving on. <clears throat> divine feminine, the oracle card you got for the next seven days is north which is solitude it says the time has come to distance yourself from that which seeks to change mold and control who you are and what you wish to do with your life this influence may be another person an addictive substance or a negative emotion contemplate what has got you to this point and you need to do this on your own put some space between yourself and a controlling influence with a detox retreat a sweat lodge or a holiday alone we can choose to use that space to face our shadow self and discover exactly what we need to do to improve ourselves, our lives, and our relationships. Peacefully being with yourself or actively confronting your shadow, both have merit and you will know which one is appropriate when you go at it, when you go at it alone. You have come so far, please don't give up. There is light at the end of the tunnel. All good things come to those who wait. A time of great blessings that may seem disguised right now. Wait, a time of great blessings. I, you know how this bitch be writing. All good things come to those who wait. A time of great blessings may seem disguised right now, period. You are on the right path. Be patient. Time on your own serves well. This is what this North card is. North is going, nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. This is the Ascension card to me, G. This is what this means, right? Came out with the Page of Pentacles and the Divine Feminine card right here. So look. I feel like when I was like just going over this like little combo here, I was like, who is this little like fairy or munchkin? I was told it's a spirit guy or like an angel from God. I don't even feel like it's a, this is like one that drops off. It's like the tooth fairy is what it made me feel like, y'all. I feel like a uh, divine feminine, you're going to get some little trinket. Trinket meaning like a blessing or something this week. Uh, as in regards to your ascension though. It's like a, uh, I feel like something, some of y'all, something that you wish for is coming. You wish, I'm wishing on a star, boom, boom, to follow where you are, right? Uh-oh, shit, and I wish, oh, shit, Divine Feminine, what y'all been wishing for? What you been wishing for, G? I feel that strong. I feel like some wishes are going to come true, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. I feel like some of y'all going to find out y'all pregnant in the next seven days. One of y'all little kids got pink eye, G. Real shit. It's the left eye. Ow. Shout out to left eye. It's the left eye, though, for the kid that got the pink eye and shit. Look, I don't, uh, you ain't really got no control over this. I'm going to tell you how he got the shit, Okay. You don't have no control over this. I don't know. It's somebody's kid who plays like uh, soccer or some type of sport with a ball. One of them other little nasty ass motherfucking kids touched the ball. Then your kid touched the ball. Then your kid rubbed on his eye and shit. And now your kid got pink eye. I don't know if you can Clorox basketballs and shit. I don't all the motherfuckers. I mean, I know you can at your own house. But how can you really uh, prevent that from school parks? You know what I mean? Shit like that. But that's where that little motherfucker got that shit from. Damn basketball or soccer ball or some shit. Nasty ass kids. Mm. Let's see here. Somebody likes to drink Coca-Cola like a motherfucker. I always get that with this card, the polar bear card. And it is that time of year with a little polar bear on the little Coke cans and shit. Somebody love Coca-Cola. It is good. I ain't gonna lie. That shit is good. But do you know, I mean, I love Coke and I hope I ain't discouraging nobody. But, well, shit, I don't care. We need to stop drinking fucking soda. Dude, they use that shit to clean up crime scenes and shit. Whenever it's like blood in the street and shit and you can't get the shit up out the middle of the street, pour Coca-Cola on it. Shit come right up. That's for the hood, right? Hood people know that shit. Like, oh, they ain't come clean that shit up? Pour some Coke on it. It'll get rid of all that shit. I probably just told somebody how to clean it. Okay, moving on. Because I already said a motherfucker was missing on the, <laughs> on the last video. Now bitch like, hmm, that's how I clean it up? Thanks, nun. You're welcome, bitch. Just playing. Anyway. 
<clears throat> Moving on. Some of y'all are going to find some money in your purse, in a purse that you don't use this week, in the next seven days. It's like little blessings like that, y'all, that are coming. I do feel like some offers are coming. I ain't going to lie. If an offer is coming from like a love interest, this is a new person, Divine Feminine. It's a solid offer too. Page of Pentacles. This ain't your divine counterpart right here. I mean, well, we'll get to that later. I don't feel like it's your divine count. It could be a divine masculine, but I don't feel like it's your divine masculine. If it's your divine masculine, why the fuck he coming up like a Keebler elf? Right? If it's a new person, they should come up like a page of pentacles because it's, I mean, they knew. They don't know you. You don't know them. You know what I'm saying? But shit, they, it's real gold. Bite it. Bite it. Bite that shit. <sighs> what else? There's some good messages on here today. Some of y'all going skiing. Some of y'all going camping in this cold ass weather. My homeboy keep trying to get me to go camping with him. Not like that. But I mean, he got like heaters and all kind of shit. I don't do well sleeping on the ground, though. That's just, that's just the nun and shit. Like, why would I choose to sleep on a hard ground when I have a comfy big bed at home? Like, no, I love stars. I do. But I mean, and it's cold. Mm -mm. But some of y'all going to do that shit with your kids and shit in the next seven days. Maybe going into the weekend is what I heard. I know y'all going to be outside, though. And somebody going to have to take a shit. The Divine Feminine, one of y'all, whoever's going camping with your kids, you're going to be uncomfortable taking a shit outside. I'm just letting you know. Moving on. <laughs> That's enough. Uh, <laughs> Divine Feminine, the energy you're going to be in for the next seven days. I incorporated more flashcards, so the shit getting a little deeper around these parts here, right? Got the dude holding all the books, right? I'm going to get to this because this was deep, but you got the dude holding all the books. That came out with the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. That got clarified with Tatiana and uh, Lionel Richie. Even though that's Smokey Robinson, but the motherfucker looked like Lionel Richie, and that's who I had heard. Yeah, okay? Then you got the uh, Papa Was a Rolling Stone hat. That came out with the Nine of Wands, the Magician. Ooh. Journey and Rihanna. Then you got the Teddy Bear which is like my two of cups, six of cups lover's card that came out with the seven of swords reverse and divine masculine and motherfucking Elvis. And I think this cute Elvis gene with the seven of swords reverse, we'll get to it. I was getting to it. I was getting to it. I'll get to how you feel in a bit. Let's start with the energy divine feminine. Generally speaking, I feel like uh, a lot of y'all are taking up some new type of study trade or something with this dude with these books here. Um, y'all are learning some new shit. Doesn't even have to be school, but I told y'all that God was sending down like angels or this really could be your spirit guys just giving you more information, G, just a little bit at a time. It's only so much our brains can hold. You know what I'm saying? But it's probably a little, but it's a lot to us. So it's a little to the 5D, but a lot to the 3D body. I feel like uh, pretty much every divine feminine is getting that motherfucking upgrade. Queen of Swords with the damn Knight of Cups here. Yay, yay. I feel like... Uh, the, the one thing I'm getting about this, because we ain't Tatiana's here, but I feel like uh, for those that are meeting new people, this is soulmates right here. Tatiana, I told you uh, this main female comes up whenever you're divine feminine slash divine masculine, you're assigned one. That's not who's approaching you. Say you're in a love relationship with someone else. That's when this card comes up for me, especially with Smokey Robinson. Easy like Sunday morning, G. Whoever the fuck is new coming towards you, it, it kind of just roll, G. It just kind of roll. Queen of Swords with the damn Knight of Cups and shit. Motherfucker smart and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he carry or she, but I'm thinking it's he. He carry groceries and shit in for you. He open the motherfucking doors. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a gentleman. It's Ralph Tresvan. Yeah. So for some of y'all, Ralph Tresvan is coming. You need a man A with sensitivity. A man like me. Yeah, somebody coming with sensitivity. See, you need someone who's dead like a gentleman. Hey, where Ralph at? Where Ralph? Anyway, <laughs> Papa was a Rolling Stone wherever he laid his hat. This is about a mints. This is about a mints, <laughs> Divine Feminine. Usually we don't never really get love. We always get like these self going on messages. And I'm, I mean, of course, I'll probably pick up on that too. But we got this stone cold gentleman coming to lay his hat where it's home. And the teddy bear is out here, which is like my lover's two of cups, six of cups card, G. This is a love message, G. That's why I said there could be somebody new approaching. We'll get to the divine masculine portion. We will, because it could be your divine masculine too, but I will get to that. St uh, Papa was a rolling stone. Somebody coming to lay their hat at your home, divine feminine, or they want to. Shit. 
I feel like you a little standoffish, G. Nine of Wands, you've been through a lot. We've been through a lot. Nine of Wands with the Magician card. Who goes there, right? Trespassers will be shot in this bitch. Divine Feminine, the energy you're going to be in for the next seven days. I feel like uh, some of y'all are going to be approached by some menses. Could be one man or multiple menses, right? Y'all got y'all guard up, man. I feel like uh, some of it feels stronger than others, meaning that some of y'all got y'all guard way too up. Like this, like build that wall. Like you went Donald Trump on this motherfucker, build that wall where he can't even get to you. And some of y'all are just really cautious and shit. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all just need to be healed with the Rihanna card. I've been waiting on that sunshine, boy. I think I need that back. Can't do it like that. No one else gonna get it like that, right? Somebody need to come kiss it better, Divine Feminine. That's really what you need, but you you got this wall up. But I totally get it, G, nine of wands. But I mean, how the fuck he gonna kiss it better through a fucking electric fence and shit? Come on, G. You're gonna have to let your guard down a little bit, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. If this is somebody that you're interested in, this can actually go somewhere with the journey card. Boom. I'm picking up also that somebody, not a, this is for someone, somebody in an abusive situation where that motherfucker be hitting on you. I don't know who the fuck this is, but that damn show ain't your divine, well, look, it could be your divine masculine on this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker that you, I never believe that, uh, that it's always meant for divine masculines and divine feminists to be in union. This would definitely be that circumstance if a motherfucker whooping on your ass and shit. This is a lesson that you're supposed to be learning. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what, I feel like uh, whoever this is for, this person puts on makeup to cover that shit up, like uh, black eyes and shit. I, I know this, number one, nine of wands, he all bloody and fucked up, magician and shit with all that makeup and shit on the table and shit, but I knew for sure with the Rihanna shit, that's what it made me think of. Chris Brown, little young acting motherfucker with a baseball cap. I don't know, this is for somebody. Somebody is uh, going down the wrong path with that motherfucker, with this Rihanna card and that Journey card. That's for somebody. Get your ass up out of there. You need to get your ass up out of there. That's not gonna end well for you. I see it, and I won't touch on it, but it's not gonna, it's going to a bad place, G. Moving on. Teddy Bear came out. It came out with the Seven of Swords reverse. This somebody leaving fuck Tardia, man. They changing their zip code. It's not 90210 no more. You know what I'm saying? Da na na na. Da na na na. Ka, ka. Right? You want to punch that motherfucker. 90210. But they leaving that zip code. Do, 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 do. This motherfucker Brandon Walsh now. It ain't uh, Dylan. It's Brandon. You know, Dylan was the fine one, but he was like, he fucked Kelly. He fucked Brenda. He fucked the whole crew and shit. Brandon was like the upstanding one in the show. You know what I'm saying? Look. He working at the peach pit and shit. Look at, look at Elvis. Don't that look like Brandon Walsh at the peach pit? Didn't they have that motherfucker dressing like that? Uh-huh. Whoever this is, divine masculine, I mean divine feminine, yep, could be a divine masculine for sure. I gotta put it out there. Some of y'all will hear from your divine masculine in the next seven days. Real shit. Real shit. Some of you, you guys, but that's what I said. I, okay, here's the, here's the disclaimer at the bottom where that shit go real fast. You can buy the card seven dollars where they try to tell you all the fees and shit. Let me tell you all the fees and shit, right? If this is your divine masculine, divine feminine, that's why I said there's no reason that this divine masculine should be coming back as a fucking page of pentacles. This motherfucker know you, G. Why are they coming back with a small ass offer? If this is your divine masculine, t okay? If this is him. He ain't really got shit to offer you, G. He could be coming back here yeah, brand new. I'll tell you this much. I'll tell you this much. Yeah, he coming back like a munchkin and shit. He ain't got shit to offer, but he ain't on no fuck shit. So, I mean, if you like sardines and motherfucking Ritz crackers, y'all motherfuckers about to have a blast, G. You about to have a fucking blast, man. Because I'm just telling you, he ain't really got shit. It's like a... He saw the signs. He saw the signs as far as who you are. I told y'all, a lot of them, uh, a lot of counterparts are waking up and recognizing who their soulmate, divine counterpart, or whatever is, right? So this person has done that. Seven of Swords reverse. This is uh, your divine masculine for those that this resonates with. Yes, this motherfucker Elvis thrust his pelvis. It ain't prosciutto eating Elvis neither. This, um, uh huh, this fine ass Elvis that got his shit together. He just don't really have much to offer you in the financial department. Probably spiritual department, emotional department, divine feminine. You probably have still way more than your divine masculine. He's coming back with a better attitude. I could tell you that much. That, that part is true. So, I mean, if you like better attitude burritos and sandwiches and shit, y'all motherfuckers gonna have a blast, like I said.
period. If this is not your divine masculine and it's a divine masculine, meaning this is what we're manifesting, we're attracting new divine masculines into our life. You know what I mean? Ones that are emotionally available, stable, all that shit. This is a, a good one coming. This is, this is a damn good one and he's nice and cuddly. Mm. I don't know, somebody getting a little nice little uh, yummy one. You know, I like them kind of chunky and shit. I'm like, he looks soft and it's cold and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying, though, motherfuckers want to go camping. Can I go camping with this motherfucker and shit? Like, the cuddly one looks like he's warm. I don't know. That's just for the nun. Moving on. Seven of Swords reversed with the, yeah, Divine Masculine card and Elvis bumps his pelvis. This is a little good looking motherfucker, too, Divine Feminine. For this is a, a Divine Masculine, not your assigned Divine Masculine. So let's say soulmate here, okay? This is a, would be a new love, new soulmate coming through. That's why he offering something solid, but it's small. That motherfucker don't know you divine feminine shit. I feel like you're going to be returning the same shit, but I feel like you guys get alone time together, north solitude. I know solitude's supposed to be you by yourself, but I feel like it's you and this person by yourself and you get to know somebody. This is not for everyone, but I feel like a chunk of y'all are either getting your divine masculine back, which you guys will still get that same solitude or he's going to approach or reach out in the next seven days. Or a soulmate approaches you in the next seven days. Either way, Divine Feminine, I feel like uh, a lot of you guys are going to meet someone new or get to, uh, it's, it's either renewal or get someone new is what they're saying. Okay. Okay. Generally speaking, if you have a whiny ass kid right now that's crying about some toy that you like, what the fuck? I don't know what that shit is. What do you mean? It's at their daddy house, man. It's at their daddy house. So just ask his ass to look for it. That's for somebody I don't know. But back to these books, G, right? I feel like uh, discernment is a big key, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days, right? You're going to be able to see through so many people. A lot of people are going to forever come to you like this Knight of Cups, Divine Feminine. You carry a light now, so don't nobody, the fuck, the fuck Tardians don't want you to know that they fuck Tardians, but your discernment, Queen of Swords, is going to just see right through that shit, pierce right through it. Good people and bad. When I was looking at these books, because they're not really in focus on this picture, but I was able to make some of them out, the names on here were crazy, right? So you're dis I was like, okay, well, what's she going to be able to discern? Divine Feminine, he or she, whatever, the fuck, right? Some of this, some of this says, uh, some great things. It says praying to aliens, St. Valentine, liars and saints, uh, sculptors in glass. That's really all I could get out of this. But the crazy thing, it seemed like it kind of covered everything. You'll be able to discern between liars and saints, lovers, which will be Saint Valentine. Some great thing will be like some blessing that God, it's a great thing. Nothing, everything from God is good and perfect, right? No confusion and shit. He's not the author of confusion. So some great thing you'll know when it's from God now is what I'm getting. Sculptures of glass. I feel like that's manifesting creators and shit. Like, I feel like y'all about to get like some ill ass shit. That's just a list of some of the shit that I could make out. But look how long the list is. This Ralph Tresvant, but this you too, G. You about to be learning a whole lot of shit. I feel like discernment, uh, just being able, and not just discernment with people, but like uh, basically your intuition, Liddy. That's what discernment is to me. You know what I'm saying? It's really the same thing. It's you listening to your gut, but this is in regards to people, where your blessings are coming from, what to manifest, what not to manifest, liars and saints. That was like the best one to me really on here. I should have put my damn glasses on. Shit, I can't read nothing on this shit. Anyway, you get my gist, man. Yeah. Let's see. But Tatiana was out here for sure. So that's why I said it's, it is probably mostly people that you're going to be able to see through like for show, for show. You know how like we already kind of see through people. It's about to be heightened in the next seven days. The fact that Tatiana came out and shit lets me know that there are a lot of people. Um, I feel like it's going to be done just on a, in a, on like a random basis. You know how you go to the store and shit and you could just, a motherfucker in the line before, in front of you be like, I can read this motherfucker up and down and shit. I remember one time I saw this, uh, I went to a grocery store and this man didn't have nothing but electrical tape and wine. That's all that man had on the fucking little conveyor belt. I'm like, is he raping bitches? Because if I see somebody with electrical tape and wine, that look like a fucking problem. It's shit like that. Reading motherfuckers easy like Sunday morning type shit. I don't know if that's what he was doing, but the shit ain't look right to the nun. You know what I'm saying? Shit ain't look right to me, man. Why you only got duct tape and wine, man? I left it alone. I ain't asked shit, of course, but I mean, that's what it reminded me of. They just showed me that man. So he, that must have been what the fuck that shit was about. He seemed like kind of creepy, G. He just did, man. Anyway, that's totally random. 
What else here? Aw, oh, shit. Divine Feminine, some of y'all about to travel. With this, uh, wherever he laid his hat was his home. You guys are manifesting vacations, trips. Some of y'all want to see the world. I heard the fuck out of that, bitch. I heard the fuck out of that. Nine of Wands with the magician card with this journey. It's like you making decisions. Like, I'm. The, this is determination to me to, like, bucket list is what this felt like with this magician and this damn journey. Some of y'all are going to move to different states, different countries, or just traveling the world, period. Or just moving, period. But I, if you, if I'm picking up people moving across the state, like leaving like a whole structure foundation that they've always been used to, just to manifest something new. Y'all are creating like a lot of y'all are creating brand new lives for yourself. Shine bright like a diamond, right? Fine light in the beautiful sea. I choose to be happy. You choose to be happy, divine feminine. You choose to be happy, G. Maybe it is gonna be with this motherfucker. You and I, we're like diamonds in the sky. Maybe it is with Divine Masculine. It looks good, Divine Feminine. This really looks like love, Divine Feminine, to be honest with you. I am picking up this general shit. Let's just say generally, I, like I tell y'all all the time, two of cups, six of cups with the lover's card. You ain't never gonna be in no relationship like you were in the past. Seven of swords reverse. You ain't even attracting motherfuckers like that. And if you still are, that's a fucking problem. You know what I mean? But this group I'm picking up, y'all ain't even attract. Y'all attracting this one. Y'all ain't attracting prosciutto eating Elvis. You attracting jailhouse rock Elvis. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker that could bump and grind all night. I don't see nothing wrong. Oh, with a little bump and grind. Hey, this is a little sexy little motherfucker right here, Divine Feminine. I don't know who the fuck this is. I don't know. I don't know, but he smelled good and he... Elvis thrust his pelvis, G. I don't know. Moving on. I don't even need to touch on that, right? How you feel about yourself, Divine Feminine? This is uh, frustrated, but it's not. It's an overload of information. Look at this motherfucker with all these books, G. I told you, whoever God is sending to you, your spirit guides, ancestors, whatever, y'all could just be going to school, period, or picking up a new trade. There is something that is enhancing in your brain. In your brain, Divine Feminine. This is a... Uh, uh, like an upgrade they just told me ios and i know what they mean like for like apple phones and shit every time you look up it's the one point upload the uh, 1.4 whatever the fuck it's one of them type of things divine feminine it hurts a little bit king of cups this is a small group i'm gonna touch on this and i'm gonna leave this the fuck alone there is a group of divine feminines out there you starting to drive yourself fucking crazy over this damn divine masculine here king of cups with this devil card and the ten of swords i feel like uh that's because nothing has happened you know what I'm saying? Not, there's no, you put in a lot of work. We're getting nine to five to get this shit popping with the courthouse. I feel like, man, you gonna get it, Divine Feminine. But there is still that group of y'all. This is a small group in the convent here. Still holding on to this shit and nothing's happening. You still putting in effort. You committed like a motherfucker. I commend you for that shit. Everybody goes through that stage where they committed to some shit that's dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, really? That's basically what this is. It's like, like a say a family member dies. You that motherfucker that jump in the casket and shit when they trying to lower it in the ground, screaming and shit, all that shit. You that motherfucker. And it is that emotional and painful, but it's starting to stink now. Ten of, ten of swords. Like, this motherfucker dead dead. And you still trying to resuscitate it. That's for a small group. For the rest of y'all that are how you feeling about yourself just getting that download, yeah, you could feel whoever this new motherfucker is coming or your divine masculine, whoever it is. It's somebody that really loves you, divine feminine. This is somebody that thinks about you a lot. Somebody tapping into your energy, divine feminine. There is a mint. A masculine energy, I'll say. Tapping into your energy. This uh, ten, this uh, devil doesn't really feel bad with this king of cups. This is somebody, like, kind of obsessed with you a little bit. This ten of swords is like, uh, it feels like the end-all, be-all, divine feminine. Somebody is tapping into your energy is what I'm hearing. How you feel about yourself is the same shit what I said the seven of swords reversed, though. You ain't never about to be in no... Uh, relationship like this, this devil shit, the ten of swords, that's the end of that shit. You about to get a real motherfucker. I told you. You need a man with sensitivity. This motherfucker gonna cuddle up with you on the ground and uh, camping. He carry groceries. He opened it. This Ralph Tres van. Right? This Ralph Tres van. Not, hopefully not that fucking small. You know what I mean? And not that fucking soft fucking tone and shit. I'm speaking for the nun. Y'all can take that little, uh, you know what I'm saying? Soprano. Ooh, ooh. That's my shit though. I, 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 in a false session, like, ooh. Hey, this the dream, Divine Feminine. 
She said it feels like a very first time. She like, grind it, grind it, grind it, baby. I don't know, they playing dream. It's like a dream divine feminine. I don't know who the fuck, the hey, look. Can I be this divine feminine? Lord, t Lord, t I don't know, it looked like a dream coming true, divine feminine. They just played the dream. In a falsetto. But I was saying that because I don't want the one in a falsetto, Ralph Tresvant. That's how all that has started. But it is a dream, Divine Feminine. You ain't never about to be with no motherfuckers like So basically, this goes back to you having up that damn Donald Trump wall and shit. Don't build that motherfucker that high, G. You don't really got to build it at all. You already divinely protected. You know what I'm saying? There's already a spiritual wall. So you adding up a 3D wall on top of the 5D wall is hella fucking access. You got to scan this motherfucker's eyes and shit just to even get near you. I don't feel like you got to worry that much, Divine Feminine, especially for the ones getting upgraded with this whole discernment here where you could tell liars and from saints and something good and sculptures and all that shit. Like, I mean, it's already uh, downloaded is what I'm hearing. You know, like in the Matrix when uh, Neo in the first one, when he was learning like how to be Neo and shit and they were just plugging up the programs when he learned how to do karate or whatever the fuck with Lawrence Fishburne and shit. They just bloop, right? Put in programs, blah, 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 right? It was downloaded. That's what this feels like, Divine Feminine. Look at you. It's shit just getting downloaded, G. I'm, I know. I know. But I feel like uh, that's one of the things you don't have to worry about. 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one, Divine Feminine. You about to get like, I feel like uh, a, a lot of Divine Feminines are about to meet the person that they're about to end up with, G. Somebody that puts in the same effort as you. A still magnolia, I just heard. And I, sometimes I get her, I mean, I always see nine to five with this. Yes, that person's going to put in effort. But still Magnolia, this is somebody that's going to be with you to the end, Divine Feminine. Shit, still Magnolias, all of them had their partner. Well, not all of them, but I mean, it was that type of movie about commitment, dedication, love, and lo loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. That Kendrick Lamar shit, that shit money came by, man. Yeah, Divine Feminine. I feel like a lot of y'all feel somebody coming or something coming. Could, like I said, be a Divine Masculine or a soulmate. But this motherfucker is around the mountain when he comes. Too, too. Around the mountain when he comes. On top of whatever this download is that you're getting from above, right? On top of I still feel like y'all getting some like little wish. I feel like, uh, yeah. If I had one wish, shut the fuck up. I don't like Ray J like that. You don't got to play that song. Please don't. No, <laughs> no. Anyway, I mean, no disrespect to, ain't that Brandy's brother, right? No disrespect to the little motherfucker, but I'm just saying, but yeah, you would be my boo. They gonna play it anyway. Ugh, y'all are cold-blooded. I feel like y'all still are gonna get one wish, Divine Feminine. Not like it's just one, like you only granted one, but I feel like in addition to this love, this download, there's some blessing. Uh, it's not even one wish, but there's something that you wanted that you kind of just asked for and let go. I feel like a lot of y'all are going to get that in the next seven days. Damn. That's what's up. This is a good read, Divine Feminine. I mean, come on. It is, man. Come in. <laughs> come in, man. man. Yeah, man. It's good. I always do that shit when the shit get real and it's exciting. All right, moving on. Yeah, but how you feel about yourself, Divine Feminine, basically, like, it's an overload of information. You're going to feel like you know shit and you don't know how you know shit. You feel like somebody's coming. A lot of how you feel about yourself, you are, a lot of us are worried about being in the same situation we were in with our Divine Masculines or past situations, these toxic-ass relationships. That shit dead, G. That shit dead. You committed yourself to a whole different type of lifestyle and put a whole lot of work into yourself. Working nine to five. Really longer than that and harder than that. You worked harder than Dolly on yourself, bitch. You worked harder than, harder than Dolly Parton on yourself, Divine Feminine. There's no way in hell you're going to end up in a relationship like that. She ain't even look. If this is your Divine Masculine, I feel like if this is your Divine Masculine coming back, you ain't even looking at this motherfucker. Really, look at it. She like, mmm, try again. Dust yourself off and try again. Basically. Yeah, you win a Leah on them. If this is a new person, you just ain't making yourself so easy to get, Divine Feminine. That's all. I mean, shit, you, I mean, the privileged fucking lady. Not saying you want a lot or need a lot or demand a lot, but it's almost like I feel like this person has that respect for you because you have that respect for yourself. G, that's it. Period. Period. Point blank. Moving on. <laughs> all right. What I usually do next? Be aware? What's Divine? Okay, great. What's the divine feminine need to be aware of for the next seven days?
Be aware of, look, the spinny top, but it came out reversed. So this is avoiding chaos, any type of drama, bullshit. I mean, it's always around the corner. You about to get an upgrade. God is about to bless you either with a new relationship, some blessings, divine feminine, some downloaded information, a little cuddly teddy bear, something, right? Of course, some shit is coming up in there to try to fuck that up. Be aware that any type of bullshit that comes your way is a distraction to take your eyes off the prize, divine feminine. It's purposely set there. Be aware of that shit for the next seven days. We'll see what it is, but it's fragrant narco bullshit is what it look like, G. Give me another one with the fine thing that needs to be aware of for the next seven days. Reaping what you sow. Yeah, so if you choose to get involved in some fuck shit, fuck shit come real quick. I'm here in Divine Feminine. You on that manifesting shit so tough, G, that you even got to be careful in the next seven days with that nine of wands and that magician. Because it's like, if you involve in fuck shit, ding. Fuck shit come to you immediately. You involved in good shit, ding. I'm hearing good shit come to you immediately. I just heard pay it forward, good or bad, either way. So be aware that your manifestation skills are heightened next week or in the next seven days, divine feminine. So what you put out, you get back immediately. Be aware of that shit. So it's telling you avoid that fuck shit so you don't get back fuck shit immediately. I'm telling you divine feminine, I've been hearing the, the fall the fall is what I keep hearing. And I don't feel like it's in regards to the weather. If you remember a few readings back, I told you that we would start to see the demise and the fall of people. The shit is even happening on television, G, in our government, everywhere. People in positions of power are falling from grace. That is including people just on the street, G. People you know, people uh, at your job, wherever the fuck. Family members, people who were once on top are on the bottom now, Divine Feminine. Don't be that bottom bitch. I'm just saying, though. It's happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that's why the money keeps you safe and sound. Not the money, but that's what they're playing. You safe and sound if you stay in your purpose in this divine feminine 5D energy. You good. But I feel like, uh, yeah, they saying spiritually audited is what's going on. Spiritual auditors are what's hitting them. Maybe that's who these motherfuckers are. These little page of pentacles. Little spiritual auditors and shit coming to check and make sure you want your shit. Like, yep, yeah, Lord, she's still going north. Moving on to the next motherfucker. I feel like it's some... Like a census, like a worldly spiritual census, if that makes any sense. Don't get caught up in that fucking bullshit, Divine Feminine. Uh, spinny top reverse with the sewing machine. Let's get another one. Another one, DJ Khaled. What's Divine Feminine need to be aware of? Yep, look, there's my God card, dope. I told you it's a spiritual census going on. This is my ascension card. That's why I said we reaping what we sow immediately. The only thing that came out reverse is the spinny top. Keep your fucking nose clean for the next seven days. Divine Feminine. It looks like it's important. It looks like this new relationship with either your Divine Masculine or a soulmate counts on it because this is heavy manifested energy. So you want to be at your highest with this uh, playing card. It looks like uh, whatever these downloads are that you're getting from the 5D, you definitely have to be out of fuck shit and have a clear mind to even receive it. You know what I'm saying? To reap what you sow, to know they're showing me a sowing pattern. So to be able to follow the pattern, of whatever is being cut out the design of the clothing is what they're saying you have to follow the pattern is what they keep saying stay on course divine feminine don't be denzel on that motherfucker snorting cocaine and trying to but you landed the motherfucker but barely shit what was that shit called flight what was that name of that shit where that motherfucker had everybody upside down sniffing coke in the airplane and all it's almost like they're showing me that movie because it's almost like you have that ability, Divine Feminine. You can get through this next seven days, even through the fuck shit. You know what I mean? Like you a cold-blooded motherfucker because you are ascending regardless. But it's almost like you so cold-blooded that whatever you touch gets affected. So make sure it ain't fuck shit, man. Make sure. Keep your hands clean, Divine Feminine, for the next seven days is what I'm hearing, G. Mmm. Damn. Ain't this some shit? On that do or die shit. Do you want to ride in the backseat of a caddy? Chop it up with do or die. Somebody coming with peanut butter, peanut butter, what is that? Peanut butter complex and brown eyes or whatever the fuck he say. I keep picking up on this mant. On this mant, Divine Feminine. He peanut butter brown or he got peanut butter eyes, colored eyes, peanut butter. P.I. I don't know if he used to be a pimp. He liked Cadillacs or like trucks or cars. Whoever this person is, Divine Feminine. I don't know why I keep picking up on this person. Whoa, 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 do you want to ride with me? Yeah, somebody coming, Divine Feminine. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. 
but you be learning these hoes biology and obviously well look at the man you learning all these hoes biology divine feminine that's why i said you ain't never gonna be in no relationship like you were before i don't feel like for those that are worried about meeting another Tatiano or somebody like your divine masculine i feel like you uh, graduated from p-i-n-p-ology but logically be learning these hoes biology and obviously well you've been learning these hoes biology queen of swords don't worry about that shit yo just keep your nose clean for the next seven days. Stay on your path and shit. I feel like you're reaping what you sow. It's good. I've been telling y'all for the past couple of weeks, it's good manifesting energy for the divine feminine. So it's continuously. Whatever you've been trying to manifest, if it's a relationship with somebody divine feminine or your divine masculine, whatever, moving, all the shit that I named, school, trades, careers, business, whatever the fuck, stay on that shit this week. Try to keep your hands clean. <laughs> Put one on the fuck shit. Or the non-fuck shit. It's really not bad. Your be aware section look like you on track, Divine Feminine, to be honest. This is a good be aware section. It doesn't look bad at all. It's just this here. But it's reversed. I like it. Ooh, and I like it. That's the second time I heard the barge. Ooh. I won't even fuck y'all's ears up like I did Mike. But yeah, that's the second time I heard... Uh, the barge. I heard the barge in that Libra reading, but it was a different song. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I hope them motherfuckers all right with their little skinny half of them dead, ain't they shit? Right? One of them was married to my cousin. He dead, though. That brother dead. That was a long ass time ago. She dead, too. That's what shit. They both dead, so they don't count. But uh, what, the rest of them they ain't dead, right? Where Chico at? Not, I'm just asking. But anyway, moving on. Hermit. Yeah. Stay away from the fuck shit. Just say no to the fuck boys. Just say no to the fuck girls. Top, spinny top reverse with the hermit. Just keep your nose clean. Keep your eyes on the prize, divine feminine. You got to, man. For some reason, it's like extremely important this week. Which lets me know that um, because it's that important, fuck shit's coming. It be coming around the mountain when she comes to, to. Fuck shit gonna be hunking they horn and shit like a big rig on the freeway. Mer, right? The big old fuck shit train. Roll. Like a 18 wheeler. They gonna be rolling like a 18 wheeler. This here fire, Divine Feminine, but that there killer. This here killer, Divine Feminine. For some reason, there's an, uh, an upgrade of fuck shit, but it's an upgrade of fuck shit because you upgrading, you're being upgraded. But I feel like you're gonna recognize it. You know what I mean? So you're gonna keep your nose and your hands and all your shit, your body parts and shit out of that shit. Y'all remember that soap? What was it? Lever 2000? I don't know why they're showing me that soap. What does that have to do with anything? Lever 2000. I remember the soap though, but what does that mean? Mm. <laughs> all body parts. Yeah, it did say something about covering all body parts. Damn, y'all got a good ass memory. Whoever y'all, whoever that is telling me that. Lever 2000. Keep all body parts out of fuck shit. That means you can't even speak on it, Mac Dime. Your tongue can't be involved in fuck shit. Your eyes, your ears, your fingers, your ass, your, your genitalia, your feet, your nothing. They said Lever 2000. Wow, throwback shit. Okay. One with the hermit, please. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you can't offer up shit. You cannot touch whatever fuck shit comes your way, divine fit, even if it's somebody trying to involve you in it. Exit the best way you can with your feet, not your fingers on it. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like a Robin Steele, but not you, though. <laughs> Y'all stupid. Okay. Basically, you don't want to leave no prints, G. You know what I'm saying? Don't leave no prints on nothing if you don't want to get caught up. That's all I know, and I agree. That's just a rule of everything. You know what I'm saying? If you want to... Get out of there. You know what I'm saying? With whatever the fuck it is. I feel like, it feels like a heist. This is a raid. Everybody lay down, behave now. Give up the cash. Don't make us have to blast. Shout out to the five footers. We lost the way to get away in the getaway car. Yep, set it off. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be some fuck shit, Divine Feminine. But it's planet fuck shit. Which means I feel like you're gonna see this coming a mile away. Especially with the nine of wands and this magician card i can't tell you what it is it could be somebody bringing fuck shit to you all i know is that you wise enough to see that shit you want to see some ill shit divine feminine <sighs> want to see a dead body like your boys in the hood and shit look crazy shit is the devil bringing you fuck shit because that's what the spinny top is with this hermit and this damn knight of wands and remember i told you in the beginning ascension card the north card right solitude up from above and god is bringing you something 
that discernment, that big ass stack of books where I said some great thing was one of the things you're going to have to discern which one is which, G. I feel like you're going to know, though. But I feel like there's going to be something coming from God and something coming from the devil. I feel like you got to stay focused on what's coming from God and totally uh, eliminate yourself from this. Don't even offer. I mean, like you can't even offer no energy to it, no thought or nothing. That's going to be hard as fuck for the nun because bitches be pissing me off, G. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to have to ignore you stupid hoes, like at least for the next seven days. Because I ain't about to fuck up my cuddly teddy bear with the peanut butter brown complex and the eyes that like to go camping and carry groceries. And like to he don't seem like the dream, but he chubby like the dream. You know what I'm saying? But he chubby like the dream. I ain't about to fuck that up for you hoes. Don't fuck that shit up for these motherfuckers, Divine Feminine. I'm telling you. I feel like it's somebody being plant. It's a plant. It's a mole. It's Takashi 6 9 It is. It's a Takashi around you. And they've been put there just to piss you off. Don't let them do it, Divine Feminine. One on the sewing machine. Reap what you sow. What Divine Feminine needs to be aware of for the next seven days. This is pretty self-explanatory, though, Divine Feminine. Y'all had some good music tonight? Shit. Three of Cups. Yep. Restrict yourself from the thought pockets. I told you it was some hoes. Use a hoe. Ho. Yep. There's some little thought bitches. There's some bitches gonna try to get on your nerves or a group of people or something. Hotel everybody, even the mayor, reach up in the sky for the whole zone layer. Come on, player, once a hoe always. And hoes never close, they open like hallways. These bitches don't stop. These hoes never close, they open like hallways. There's somebody that pray for your downfall, Divine Feminine. There's somebody want your plane to crash. Be aware of them bitches. Be aware of them hoes. I'm serious. It's it's a it's a it's somebody coming to bring you fuck shit. It's either a group of bitches at your job and shit that you need to stay away from and not engage with because they be on fuck shit and they about to reap what the fuck they sow and you don't want to be involved in that shit. It's a, it's a third party karmic bitch or whatever that's on your nuts. She on your nuts. I don't know if she reach out to you or she just stalk you. Luke Sky stalker. Yep. She Luke Sky stalk you and shit. You know it. And I don't know if she finally say something. Don't even engage with that hoe, man. I feel like somebody trying to push your buttons, Divine Feminine. It's, it's hoes, though. It's hoes. It could be family members and shit. Somebody could be trying to come tell you what you need to do with your life when they shit all fucked up. Be aware of that motherfucker for the next seven days. Them the worst motherfuckers that want to give you advice and shit on what you need to do. I always tell y'all, look at the fruit of somebody's tree. Somebody could give you some really good advice, right? I still wouldn't take it from them if they ain't got no fruit on their tree. Because it's like, mm, it, it is good advice, but I can't take it from you. Because now that you done gave it to me, your energy on it, and I don't know, I don't want to utilize it from you. It's got to be something wrong in your formula. Because how come it's not working for you and you're sharing that information? Be cautious, Divine Feminine, of information that people are sharing with you to make it look like it's beneficial and it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody letting you use their shampoo and his hair removal in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you watch. Remember, I don't know if y'all saw that story with that little girl in college and shit. And that little, uh, it was a little, it was a black girl and a white girl. And the white girl was racist and shit. And she was like putting period blood and shit all on the girls, uh, all on her backpack and putting all kind of shit, spitting in her uh, lotion. And the girl was breaking out on her face and shit. And the bitch went around and told her friends or put it on Instagram. This, this type shit. You know what I'm saying? So these dumb bitches, like I said, they're going to get caught. There's a spiritual worldly senses going on. I feel like that God has his team out here, like, taking a list, dude. I really do. Like, seeing who on that fuck shit. Be aware of being involved in that shit, Divine Feminine, for the next seven days. I'm strongly feeling Divine Feminine. Be aware of ganging up, like, joining a, a crowd or a group of people to go against someone. Be aware of that for the next seven days. That shit gonna bite you in the motherfucking ass, G. Whoever's thinking about doing that. Whoever's thinking about if this is like, I don't know. I'm telling you to stay out of this, but be aware that if someone is trying to do this to you, Divine Feminine, if there are some women out there trying to fuck up your shit, it's, it's gonna be bad for them. Anybody trying to fuck with you, Divine Feminine. Who want it with lean type shit? That's what I always say about my sister and shit. She a bad bitch. This damn plane right here. You are divinely protected. God is like over you, divine feminine. Anybody coming to fuck with you gonna have a fucking problem. And it's not because you bringing it to them. Because remember, you staying out of shit. You got people in high places like Jesus' niece. That is a warning for anybody fucking with a, a true divine feminine on her path with this North card ascend, ascending and got this manifestation power. Be aware of fucking with somebody like that. Whoever that goes for. I'm just letting you know. This gonna be a bad week to be fucking with divine feminine for the next seven days. At least. At least, G.
One on the plane. The lovers came out. This car, uh, the deck was reversed, so it's upright. Yeah, like I said, you got people in high places like Jesus' niece. I feel like this is almost a good be aware. There's two, there's two awares here. Be aware, divine feminine, that there, your divine counterpart could be coming back, G. This is my God card with the lovers here, okay? The lovers then came out twice here. It's my soulmate card, G. And, you know, divine counterpart card. Like I said, number one, you are divinely protected, period. I love this card because you, in this card and the lovers, she's looking to God and the dude is looking to her. So, yeah, there is a lover returning, but it's for the divine feminines who have been on their journey. The ones who've been looking to God and ascending, like the North card. So these divine feminines, you are especially protected for the next seven days. Anybody fuck with you, they got to fuck with God. It's like literally what I heard. And that so sounded so raw to put that all together, even though I cuss like that. It felt even bad me saying it like that, but that's how strong it is. It's how I feel. I feel like uh, you're, you're overly protected. It's like an overprotective father feeling. Be aware of stepping out of his presence and his protection this week, Divine Feminine, or for the next seven days. For the other ones, I mean, well, there's also be aware, like I said, the karmic of a divine counterpart could be on your ass, Mr. Bozeman. I'm just saying. Maybe the karmic, I don't know. I feel like this karmic... Uh, can feel this divine counterpart coming towards you, divine feminine, or a union about to happen, and that bitch about to try to provoke that, sh or excuse me, stop that shit or something. Be careful how you handle that shit because you reap what you sow. It's making me feel like if you engage with this bitch, it kind of throws off the relationship that you're going to have with this person. It's almost like they're trying to bring something out of you so this person can, this counterpart, this new soulmate, divine masculine, whatever the fuck, will see you act out in a certain way so that person won't want you. But it looks like, bitch, you already, uh, look, got the game already bitch look like you got the motherfucking game just remember to use it matter of fact bitch you the coach bitch you don't play you know what i'm saying bitch i'm a coach i don't play games bitch i tell you what the fuck to do remember you the coach in this motherfucker divine feminine you don't bounce balls bitch you ain't this is the coach the hermit this the motherfucker coming to fuck with you the knight of pentacles you tell that motherfucker what to do the pecking order is what i just heard ow that's my song too that's the only, only good song on that album y'all that it was though Oh, no. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, I do like that song. Do the math, baby. Do the math. Cha-ching. Y'all right? Damn. How y'all know my playlist, too, in my head and in heavy? Y'all crazy. Moving on. They do. That's the War and Peace album with Ice Cube. But it, the war album, the war sign, whatever. Moving on. What up, Cube? I don't know why we talking about that. Moving on. I love music, though. Moving on. What you need to be aware of, Divine Feminine, for the next seven days. Let's put one on these stop pockets, G. One on the three of cups here with the reap what you sow in the strength card. It's a lot of lovers and two of cups cup out here. It's This is like kind of a love reading here, Divine Feminine. There's some shift in love for y'all in the next seven days. Message. God's authoritative ass thumbs. But like I said, number one, let's before we get to God's authoritative, authoritative ass thumbs, let's get the fuck shit out the way. There is for, this is not for everybody, but there is some karmic thought pocket bitch, okay, that's going to try to reach out to you. I don't know if that bitch got just keyboard courage and she got them thumbs and shit where she a little texting, typing asshole and shit, right? But don't really want no fucking problems, strength card. Bitch don't want to meet up and shit. So that's what I'm saying. Why even engage with a hoe like that that don't want no motherfucking problems? I feel like that's for some of y'all. I feel like there's a some thought pocket out there that's going to pretend like she is whoever this person is, this soulmate, this divine masculine, love interest, whatever. She's going to pretend like she's him to get some type of information. Be smart about that shit. Be, 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 she sounds just like him or types like him. She has, shit, the bitch got manly ass fucking thumbs. Oh, Stanley manly. This is a Stanley manly ass bitch. This bitch is like is built. I'm picking up on like a built manly bitch. I don't know who the fuck that is. That might be one of them bitches you might have to... Pistol grip, pump on my lap at all times. You might have to, right? Fucking tranquilize, harpoon that bitch first and then do what you're going to do. This is one of these. So this is like a bitch that likes to strong arm bitches and shit or think she can. But like I said, Divine Feminine, you divinely protected. So to engage in some, like if the bitch ain't like physically on your property and your face and shit, about to put her hands on you, there's no reason to engage with a hoe like this. That's for some of y'all. That's what I'm saying. Somebody strategically being put here by, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, by the devil, I feel like just to throw you off because somebody's coming, dude. And, you know, I don't even like saying he's coming. He's, you know, I fucking hate that shit. No, divine feminine, some real shit. Be aware. Somebody coming, G. 
for real. The nun ain't about to gas you up. And of course, that's not for everybody. But I feel like for divine feminines that are like literally on the path that y'all know the path that I'm talking about, this shit for you. This shit right here for you. This goes out to you and you and you. Biggie. Boom, 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 boom. This goes out to you. Boom, 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 boom. This goes out to you. This goes out to you, divine feminine. Shout out to Big. This goes out to you and you and you. Biggie. Yeah. One on the lovers. Lovers and the and the God card. Poverty. Yeah, somebody trying to stop your uh union, divine feminine, period. So look, remember I told y'all in that damn uh, video about the 1111, the beaver moon and the Mercury retrograde, that a lot of divine feminists were going to get that promise. Remember the 10 of cups and I was saying you weren't going to be in a relationship and God wasn't going to have you crying and shit and you were going to get a relationship. It just wasn't going to be on 1111. Some of y'all going to get this shit in the next seven days, but somebody's going to try to stop that shit. Be aware of that. Be aware of that. Stay in your highest vibe, Divine Feminine, because this relationship here I'm picking up is divinely guided, whether it's your Divine Masculine or a Divine Masculine, which is AKA a soulmate, someone new. This person is being sent to you, but there's also a distraction being sent to you at the same time. So God is sending you this person, this love interest, whatever the fuck, right? And the devil sending you crazy, a karmic thought pocket bitch and shit that's want to give her motherfucking opinion and shit. I ain't saying you ain't got to check this out. It looks like you do something, but it looks like you like, eons and light years above this bitch so the way you handle it is like a pimp real thugs get down on the flow on the flow like a pimp you handle that shit like a pimp basically don't stoop to this whole level you check that bitch right we don't play with our fucking food we eat it divine feminine we eat our food we don't play with it so don't play with your food you either eat this shit or throw it in the trash divine feminine don't play with your food this a little whatever the fuck bitch it feel like some bitches it feel like a third party bitch yep Expect it coming. <laughs> Expectation on top of this Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, you can damn sure bet that this shit is going to happen, Divine Feminine. If it's not with, I feel like it's with a counterpart. If it's not with the counterpart, let's say it's a work situation. It's some bitches that's going to try to get you involved in some shit to go against somebody. And you're going to have to make a decision to separate yourself from that shit and ascend. I feel like there's a reward in it for you. I feel like you end up getting something that these bitches could have had. But because you stayed out of it, you're the only one that gets it. For some reason, that's what I'm picking up in a work situation. But I'm really picking up love, Divine Feminine. But yeah, y'all be aware of being involved in this shit, engaging or reaching out. If you, I don't know who the fuck you are, but some Divine Feminines I'm being told, or karmics, excuse me, that think they're Divine Feminines who are going to reach out to a chick. If you reach out to a chick, that's the first sign. You're probably not on the right path, G. I won't say you're not Divine Feminine. But I'll say you ain't acting like one, G. Poverty with the damn lover's card. You ain't acting like a divine counterpart. You ain't acting like you ascended. You know what I'm saying? Reaching out to some other dude's bitch or some shit. Fuck that hoe, man. And even if you right, fuck that bitch. You know what I'm saying? What's going to happen after you tell her whatever? That's my man. And he laid up with you. And then he called home to me. And then I went, and then you done told everything. What well, do you think that motherfucker going to want you now that you done told all this fucking business? I think the fuck not. Come on, be smart, G. Be smart. I mean, you just make it, you're going to reap what you sow instantly is what I'm being told. So watch your move. This chest, this ain't checkers, y'all. Real shit. And I ain't fucking up my fucking peanut butter brown complex peanut butter eye teddy bear for y'all. Man, I ain't doing it, man. <laughs> I ain't doing it, y'all. One on these stop pocket bitches and this damn strength card and the message and the uh, reap what you sow. Well, damn. Okay. It's Britney, bitch. I told you. It's a thought pocket. This ain't reinvented. This is a nasty bitch. This is a bitch that spray on bath and body works but don't wash her ass. This is a bitch that keep her clothes in the trunk. This is a bitch that... She a nasty bitch. She shit in the gas station bathroom, no shoes on. She a nasty bitch. But I told you she was a strong arm buff bitch, didn't I tell you that? Look at this bitch. This is a bitch that's like a bully or some shit. Be aware of a bully for the next seven days. If it's a karmic divine feminine, you be aware of being this bitch. But this is a bully ass bitch that ain't got shit. This Britney Fetterline and shit. So this is a, a baby's mama, I'm being told. A disgruntled baby's mama who's 
This is not for everybody. I'm picking up on a disgruntled baby's mama whose baby's daddy is leaving her and shit. Possibly coming to you, Divine Feminine. That bitch got a problem. She may try to come and tell you a bunch of information about this motherfucker. Some shit that you probably don't even need to know or would not like to know that you wouldn't expect it, but it be coming around the mountain. It be coming, right? Around the mountain when it comes. I feel like this is the type of bitch that'll tell you. If this a new person, Divine Feminine, or a chitch, a Divine Master, whatever the fuck, this, this bitch is gonna tell you some shit that could possibly turn you off from this person. That's up to you how you take that information. But like I said, be careful because I feel like it's instant, instant karma in this. So if you take it and say you go to this person, be like, yeah, she told me, you know what I'm saying? You did this, did that or whatever the fuck. Maybe that person did divine feminine. I don't know what the, what your, you know what I'm saying? Hell to the no, no is what your hell to the no, no level is and shit. But I feel like uh, this person is ascended now. So, I mean, shit, this, uh, people could tell this motherfucker shit about you, too, type shit. I feel like you got to keep an open mind for those that find out some information about a soulmate or a counterpart from a disgruntled baby mama third party, bitch. Take that shit with a grain of salt, G. And a lime and shit. Swig it like tequila and shit and swallow it and keep it fucking moving. Because if that motherfucker was so bad, why this bitch calling you, complaining and talk, telling you about this motherfucker? Bitch, if he that bad, bitch, why you give a fuck? You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you just let him go and go come fuck up my life then, right? A, a bitch that really don't give a fuck about a dude no more be like, shit, I ain't about to tell that bitch shit. Good. Let him, let them be together. Let him fuck up her life. That's what most bitches say when they really done with a dude. A bitch that's going to call you and try to stop some shit, he ain't that bad, Divine Feminine. Don't let the devil get in your way and try to stop you. <laughs> or Divine Master, whoever the fuck this is for. I feel like there's a uh, third party intervening trying to stop a union. You know what I'm saying? And it's bullshit. Be aware of that shit for the next seven days. This happening to you or you being this person, G. Poverty with the lovers and the spirit card. So that could be what the fuck this shit is too, Divine Feminine. Remember how I said how you feel about yourself? You're like, no, nah, not this again. No, not again, right? No, hell no, not again. I feel like it's a trick by the devil, Divine Feminine. For those that where that scenario resonates in the next seven days. And there's some karmic bitch and it feels like a, let's say it's a new person and the same shit seems like it's happening and shit. Like, fuck, I'm not about to deal with no new motherfucking, this motherfucker got a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, dead, dead that shit, right? DOA. Divine Feminine, I feel like it's a trick, G, with the Dolly Parton card in the courthouse. I feel like this is a really good person and shit. They've, somebody's been put there to literally throw the shit off, G. Just... I mean, shit, use them books. Like I told you with that discernment, you getting the downloads, utilize that information. Cause I feel like something is being put there to look like it's the same situation and it's not divine feminine. Somebody's coming to throw you off and throw off whoever this person is that's coming to be with you, possibly. Poverty lovers and the uh, God card. Joni Mitchell never lied, I told you. This whoever's coming towards you, Divine Feminine, this is, I don't know who this for. Fuck, I'm asking. I'm, I, I want to know. You know what I mean? Because this is way different than what we normally get. And these are Divine Feminines. This ain't like no karmic shit. These Divine Feminines on the path that have ascended north and shit. Talk to their spirit guides and shit. They walking in their shit. This is y'all. This goes out to you and you and you. Biggie, I'm telling you. This goes out to you, Divine Feminine. Joni Mitchell never lied. So look, maybe what this motherfucker telling you is true about this person. That doesn't mean that this person has not ascended. I will say that again. Maybe Joni Mitchell didn't lie. This is a sour puss ad. Now we know this is just a, these hoes ain't loyal. So if this bitch did love whoever the fuck this is, Divine Feminine, this is an unloyal bitch to even come and tell you this motherfucker's issues, problems, or whatever the fuck. So you gotta start looking at it like this. Like, what type of bitch is you? I see why the fuck he dipped out on your ass. If this, whatever she tells you is an issue, you handle that shit with that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Don't even give that bitch no gas, Divine Feminine. Handle that shit with that motherfucker. I feel like whoever this is, probably has an explanation or will be honest about it and it's something you'll get through literally don't lose out on no uh relationship or something that you know is sent to you right from god like it's time now this is either your return in divine masculine or someone new because some bitch got in the way some old jealous you know what i'm saying bitch that's beating out fucking windows and you know what i'm saying keeping kids from baby daddies and this bitch messy joe it's a messy ass bitch so be aware, Divine Feminine, it's a messy ass bitch around that's going to try to fuck up your shit. And if this motherfucker got kids with her or some shit or they had some assets or some shit, this bitch a messy. Look, that's why I said you don't play games, bitch. You the coach. You may have to learn this bitch. I'm just telling you. Shit, you may have to step in for this motherfucker eventually. Once y'all get y'all shit popping and show this motherfucker how to treat this hoe. What it look like. You know what I'm saying? 
Motherfucking get run it over and shit. Run it over by this bitch, whoever this is. I feel like they've been abused by the, it's not funny. I feel like they've been abused by this person, Divine Finn. I don't know why I keep picking up. This is the same motherfucker I picked up on uh, in the damn effects of the damn beaver moon and all that shit. Same motherfucker, it feel like. Mm. Mm hmm. Let's put one on the hermit. Knight of Pentacles expectations. Divine Feminine, I'm being told to tell you because I'm really trying to move on, y'all. <laughs> I really am, okay? I'm being told to tell y'all, Divine Feminine. If you know for a fact you've been on your path and you know discernment and all these uh, these attributes up here you possess or at least are trying to, I'm being told if your divine masculine or a soulmate comes to you within the next seven days, Joni Mitchell never lie, you can believe it. I feel like God really did send it. Don't ever be afraid to double check with him because I damn sure am if the motherfucker come to me. I damn sure am just going to double, triple check. But I'm being told to tell you it's coming from God. Especially if you're keeping your hands and nose clean and all your body parts leave her 2000, right? For the next seven days. It's like you reap instantly. It, I'm being told it's from him. Long as you are like pure and clean. You know what I mean? Like uh, not involved in fuck shit. You cannot like at all is what I'm picking up. Zero. Set up. Hermit Knight of Pentacles expectation. Yeah, you can't be involved in fuck shit at all. Cause we are living in a material world and I am a material girl. You can't be involved in no fuck 3D material, none of that shit, I'm telling you. You have to realize that this shit is the game, the fucking matrix. Basically be aware, Divine Feminine, of being duped this uh, in the next seven days. Not realizing that you in the matrix. This is all a fucking program. You've already had this program downloaded into you. Expect it. Expect it, Divine Feminine. It's literally 3D bullshit. Madonna, this is my material card. So be aware of being involved in some shit like that with a fucking buff Britney bitch, you know what I'm saying, who got issues with somebody that want to fuck around with you now. This person has ascended and grown. Not the buff Britney bitch, but the motherfucker coming towards you. Maybe this is just like, this look like a 3D unascended bitch. So no wonder this person is coming towards you for the Divine Feminine is on their path. This, mo this motherfucker match your gangster, Divine Feminine. This bitch is salty. Be aware of a salty bitch. A Himalayan salty bitch. Ling, 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 ling. Salt Bay for the next seven days. A disgruntled uh, third party, Divine Feminine. And, or this is you. Be aware of being this person or being approached or this person being a thorn in your side, I just heard. She mad, mad. She plies mad. On the lighter note, Divine Feminine, I feel like this person uh, coming towards you, though, be aware of, uh, like I said, leaving a good thing. Be aware of, like, dipping out. You know, the nun will fucking tell you, G. The nun will fucking tell you. Be aware of uh, walking out or dismissing. I feel like the Divine Feminine or Divine Master, whoever the fuck watching, be aware of dismissing a fucking good thing right here. Joni Mitchell never lied. It's true. This is real. This is real. I, they showed me that little girl and shit after she came from the dentist on the Novocaine. And she was like, is this real life? Yeah, dude, it's real life, yo. Don't you deserve it, Divine Feminine? Don't you deserve to have somebody like this? It's real life, G. Ain't this what you've been asking for? That's why they're saying you got that damn Donald Trump wall up for some shit you've been asking for. Be aware of poverty, right? Losing something you've been asking for, Divine Feminine, for the next seven days. Especially losing it at the expense because some other bitch is feeding you information. Or somebody feeding you information about a motherfucker and shit. You know what I'm saying? They, this person still cares about this person. That's why they taking the time to come tell you some shit. Anybody take their time out to come and tell you some shit, Divine Feminine? Stop their day and be like, wait, let me go tell Divine Feminine how I feel about her, how I think she should feel about this person, and what's going on. That motherfucker give a fuck, okay? I don't care if they say they don't give a fuck. Bitch, you stop what the fuck you was doing to come and tell me some shit. Bitch, you give mad fucks. You give a whole bunch of fucks, bitch. You do. This bitch give a bunch of fucks about you and this person. Whoever this is, be aware of this hoe. Watch that hoe. Watch that bitch. Silly rabbit, the trick's on you, bitch. Right? In that masterpiece shit. Yeah. Oh. I heard him. He don't wife him. He one nights him. Whoever this person is, Divine Feminine. This, this person I'm telling you to be aware of, this karmic or whoever these people are causing trouble. This is somebody that, this is not for everybody, but I'm picking up on someone that was supposed to either marry somebody or was waiting to be married to somebody and they never did marry this person. And this person is now coming to you. You could possibly end up marrying this person. And this karmic third party where the stock pocket knows that shit. 
This stop pocket ain't stupid. That's why she's trying to strong arm and stop this shit. Whoever the fuck this is. She sees this shit happening. But he didn't wife him. He just one nighted him or had babies or some shit. It's something he didn't take far. Whoever this person is coming to you, Divine Feminine, did not take uh, uh, the next level of commitment with whoever this person is trying to stop your shit now. Just so you know. Yeah. They playing the worst again, Janae Iko. Everybody's like, he's no item. Please don't like him. He don't wife him. He one nights him. I ne what she say? I never listened though. I should have figured though. All that shit you was spitting so unoriginal. But it was you, so I was with it. Man, to tell you the truth, wish we never did it. See, I usually do stick to the business. Yeah. The, whatever this relationship is that this person, your divine counterpart, this soul may have with this other chick, it just get in the way basically it just got in the way of life and shit like this motherfucker just ended up with this bitch and just it just kind of formulated it's not like a it seemed like this person got off course divine feminine and now they're getting back on course playing with you and this bitch may a yet moving on fuck that hoe outcome yeah outcome for divine feminine for the next seven days this is an interesting read but this goes out to you, and you, and you, Biggie. That's what I'm going to name this shit. Good looking out, Big. Can I use it? Of course. Never a flaw. That's what I just heard. It is, though. It is. I probably just fucked that up because that's Little Kim. Uh, hey, yeah, ma. I love you like the la. The ganja. That's what they playing. All I want to do was touch uh, the ultimate rush. Uh, drugs, baby. Yeah, ma. I love you like the la. The ganja. Is that a yes I can use that name? Because you love me like I love the ganja. Is that what you're saying? I'm trying to hear. You're always answering songs. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? But that's one of my favorite songs. Okay. Let me move on. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, outcome. Uh, outcome for Divine Feminine for the next seven days. The song's still playing. Yeah. Out there. Stop me out. Stop me out. Stop me out. I'm so silly. Look, <laughs> Divine Feminine, this is the not being single card, G. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Upright, this is single. The writing's on the wall type shit. Like, yeah, there's some growth I need to do, some building, blah, 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 blah. With the outcome and shit, with this being reversed, it feels good, Divine Feminine. Like I said, remember I told you, school's out for summer. And I told you our spirit guys were pleading and negotiating with God about who was ready for what and what level advanced to the next level in the game. Hey, shot calling and big balling. A lot of y'all shot calling and big balling in the next seven days. Advance to the next level in the game. Some of y'all about to get in a relationship. You will not be single, booski. That's my not being single kind. Yeah. That's what that means, G. It's, it's the peanut butter. It's the peanut butter complex complexion with the eyes. What's the song, man? It's the do or die, do you want to rob? But he says peanut butter, brown eyes, peanut butter. Something about peanut butter. And I damn sure I don't like peanut butter. So you damn sure talking about the damn skin complexion for me. Damn it. I don't like peanut butter. Something about peanut butter, y'all, is what I keep hearing. So I don't know if somebody's name called Peanut, somebody's name is Butter. I don't know. They got peanut butter color eyes or it's like light brown eyes or something like that or something. I keep hearing that specifically. So I don't know. Take that. I don't know if the song means something to you. Do or die. He a pimp. Like a pimp. I don't know if he like a pimp. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Baboon's ass. Look back at it. Look back at it. There go that Trina shit again. Yeah, Divine Feminine. There's somebody coming to get that ass. This is the baboon's ass right here. So the outcome is somebody or you. This is If this is you, Divine Feminine, this is that group up there that's uh still holding on to this shit and going crazy and shit. You know what I mean? They just don't want to be single. That's a that's like a, a small ass fraction I ain't even about to touch on y'all because it's the same shit every seven days. You know what I mean? Being stuck. Godspeed. Moving on. Divine Feminine. For those that are not in that situation, this is someone looking back at it. This Trina. Look back at it. Somebody wants to come and stop you up like biscuit, girl. Somebody wants to come stop you up like biscuit, right? <laughs> somebody wants to come and make you a uh, non-single person. It's either somebody from your past, Divine Feminine, or Luke Skystalker, whoever been watching you. Somebody been watching you, Divine Feminine. I feel like they're going to make a move in the next seven days. Or they're being prompted to make a move in the next seven days. 
Yeah, tower at the bottom of the deck, face the music, baby. Yeah. I feel like some of y'all ain't gonna be single, G. I'm feeling that. I would not tell y'all that shit if I didn't feel it. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Where Mike at? He might come out. That's what I'm feeling, Divine Feminine. Or I put it to you this way. I'm getting another scenario too. For those of y'all who uh, say it's a new love interest that's coming your way, there's a new love interest looking at you that's about to sap you up like a biscuit, girl. Right? Sap you up like a biscuit. I feel like uh, your divine masculine is also looking at you like, damn, I straight lost that bitch. <laughs> damn, ain't that a bitch. I feel like a straight baboon's ass. For those that are having a new love interest and shit, your divine masculine will also be looking at you with uh, some type of regret. It's like the five of cups right here. Mm. Wow. That made me a little sad. But not anymore. Moving on. What else can, uh, what's the outcome? It, it's only like a second, literally. My tears, they well up like a second and they be gone. Table, foundation. Look, I'm telling you, bitches. Look, this four of wands is a celebration, bitches. Mazel, bitches. Look, this is a four of wands right here. Yes, Divine Feminine. Somebody about to come find you and they begin. That's what I'm telling you. Somebody tired of looking Divine Feminine at your ass. They want it now. So this is either returning Divine Masculine or this a new love interest and yo, uh, who's about to solidify some shit with you and your divine masculine is wishing or there's someone wishing that they would have got you before the other motherfucker did. But regardless, I feel like somebody coming to sop you up like a biscuit, girl. <laughs> That's what they gonna do to you now. I feel like my name Rufus or something. I don't have no front teeth, but I know that he come and sop you up like a biscuit. Yes. I don't know why I talk like that, but that's how I feel like somebody salivating like that. Uh, you know, like when you go like uh, get your car fixed, this probably in mostly like black culture and shit. Well, maybe not, but I'm black, right? Like in black culture, like if you go somewhere where it's like a bunch of old black men, they playing dominoes or it's like an old ass mechanic shop and shit and you got to walk by or they fixing your car and they all looking at you like this. Like, girl, you so is pretty, girl. You so is pretty. I bet the mama pretty. I bet the grandma pretty. Right? <laughs> this, this type of shit. Somebody looking at you like that, divine feminine. Like, uh, I don't know. It's almost like disbelief. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm getting Rufus vibes is what I keep hearing. Somebody's enamored with you, Divine Feminine, is what I heard. Like, they really think you the shizzle, man. I feel like two people think you the shizzle. For those that just want their divine counterpart, this is them. They think you the shizzle. For somebody that wants somebody new, the new person thinks you the shizzle and your divine masculine think you the shizzle, man. That's what I'm picking up on. And shit, maybe your divine masculine don't think you the shizzle and it's a new person. Who give a fuck? You know you the shizzle, bitch. Somebody do, damn it. Somebody loves you, baby. You may not know who it is. You may not know. <laughs> you may not know. You may not know, Patty. Aw, uh, I love that song too. That's my shit. Nine of Cups. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish fulfillment like I told you. Remember with the fucking polar bear. You cool it in the polar bear's toenails. Oh, hell, divine feminine. Oh, hell. I said y'all were getting some type of wish was being granted on top of you getting the download, on top of you getting some type of relationship. Maybe the wish is the relationship. All I know, bitch, is what it, that's what it looked like here. It looked like it's coming, G. I heard rapture, Anita Baker. They keep saying, boo, boo, boy, boo, boy, I swear, that's all I keep hearing. Whoever this is is caught up in the rapture, <laughs> Divine Feminine. Damn, who was this? Who, is this peanut butter? <laughs> this peanut butter, Divine Feminine. I don't know who the fuck that is. Damn, that's what I'm hearing. Uh, hell yeah, that's my shit. The feelings always do. Ba -ba -ba -ya -ba -ba -ya -ba. That's my shit. I want you here by me, baby. You let my love fly free. I want you in my life for all time. For once. Uh, 
That shit is dope. Look, page of wands. Somebody about to make a move right now. I'm telling you, this baboon ain't about to be sitting on this damn. Look, he pick up, Rafiki pick up the stick, G. He pick it up and start walking with the motherfucker. Look, I'm hearing something's about to be made official, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. Somebody take a step towards you, G. Damn, I don't never get readings like this. What y'all been doing, Ski? It's probably the one, look. Oh, they told me for the ones who did that 11-11 shit, like and did it, like, you know what I mean? Like the North way, <laughs> solitude, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody new or your divine masculine is what I'm hearing. One on the table. And I don't even like giving messages like that because I feel like I'm telling everybody this shit. But they're making me feel like this, like people are being approached this week in the next seven days. Now, what you choose to do with it, like I said, some of y'all going to be like, huh, I don't do pages. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said if it's a new person, you probably will do them. You're doing well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Right? Doing it well. If it's a new person, if it's your divine masculine, I feel like some of y'all may, I don't know, <laughs> shit, look at it like, I don't know. You may take it. Like I said, you may like Ascension sandwiches. Like, you know what I'm saying? Meaning that he's growing. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's getting better. You're willing to take the step and work with them because you see an improvement is what I'm saying. But that's what it looks like, G, for those that want them. Others, it's a new motherfucker. That's why they keep coming up as pages. That's what I'm picking up strong. Hell yeah, they still playing Anita. Queen of Pentacles came out on top of this damn uh, table car here. Let me put another one here. Because remember, this motherfucker had a bitch. <laughs> one on the Queen of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Yeah, she's still spying. <laughs> she's still spying. Just so you know. That's on some side shit. That's why they told me to pull another one. There's somebody still unhappy about this shit, Divine Feminine, and the outcome. Like I told you. So that be aware shit come true, G. I don't know if the bitch try to fuck with you or maybe she try to fuck with the love interest and try to steer them from coming to you. But I feel like it doesn't stop this person, whoever this is. OK, in regards to you, your outcome, divine feminine, expect some money, <laughs> expect some coins, expect to hear about some coin. Number one. Right. Some of y'all about to hear about the house moving. Some of y'all are got the house. Some of y'all are going to get that stable relationship. You about to get the offer. All that shit. G. Some of y'all just about to hear from this person. And it starts the beginnings of some shit. Real shit. Uh, basically, Anita Baker. Damn, that's my bitch. Y'all gonna make me play that shit too? Damn, okay. That's what I keep hearing. Ba -ba -ba I don't know why I keep hearing that part. Ba -ba -ba -ya. Ba -ba -ba -ya, ba -ba -ya, ba. <laughs> I don't know. Who named Bubba -ba Boya? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. It's late. Who went on the Nine of Cups with the cherry verse? Mature man. Look, this motherfucker got pubic hair. Too. Okay? They silver and gold. Silver and gold. I don't know about gold pubic hair. <laughs> I don't know about gold, but it's silver for sure. This is a mature motherfucker, divine feminine. You have uh, reached your level of maturity where you are ready to be in a relationship is what I'm being told with this chair reverse. That's what this is. Your wishes, whatever you like. Coming to America, bitch. Something coming to America, divine feminine. You about to get some shit. It's a mant. It's a mant or a relationship. Whatever the fuck. Or you're, I'm, look, I'll put it to you this way. If it ain't the relationship... Someone is approaching you, Divine Feminine. Someone who wants the same shit that you want. They are available. They are ready to be in a relationship. They look at you like you the end all be all. They about to take a step, G. I feel like they bitches on your ass, Mr. Postman, but they about to take a step. I mean, shit. Fuck that hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like who? I mean, you dealt with bitches way better than this. You know what I'm saying? The the bitch in your karmic situation, uh, you had already dealt with something like this divine thing. That's why I said you the coach, bitch. You don't play this game no more. You don't play this shit. Homie, don't play that shit. So like I said, this bitch a non-motherfucking factor. Not to mention he ain't even looking at this bitch no more. Hello. But this person, divine feminine, does have some household or something with this bitch and a kid or kids. So just so you know, on some side, no shit. But I feel like he's still looking at you. This person needs to cut this broad out. So maybe this person comes and explains to you, Divine Feminine, like, hey, I've been watching you for a long time, right? <laughs> what they're playing that now, what am I supposed to do? 
when I'm already, what is that song? I guess I'll see you next lifetime. That's what they're playing. No hard feelings. Okay, look. So I'm picking up a few scenarios here. There is somebody, look, Divine Feminine, it's, it's spreading out now. So there is somebody out there that probably uh, does want to be with you and wants to take a step, Divine Feminine, but I feel like this person, uh, but that doesn't, no. Because then this car would be upright and you would still be single. That's what I'm saying. That next lifetime is, uh, it feels half ass, almost like the song isn't complete. Because if this was upright, I'd be like, yeah, this person is going to leave you single and shit. You are their wish fulfillment, but they can't really make no move because they got this bitch at home. I'll see you next lifetime. This is reverse, which means that you're not single. Your wishes are fulfilled. This person does make a move. I don't know what he do with this hoe. I feel like she a thorn in your side, dude. Because he ain't looking at this bitch. So maybe he tell this bitch, I guess I'll see you next lifetime. No, you're going to be stuck with this bitch this lifetime. And so is Divine Feminine. Something up with this, this hoe. This buff Britney bitch, I'm telling you. Something up with her, man. One on the page of wands in the baboon's ass. Let me hurry up and get about you. Wealthy man, the shit money came by. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. This gratitude, this is uh, knowledge, wisdom, uh, divinity, all the shit that money came by. This person sees that in you, Divine Feminine. No wonder you this motherfucker wish fulfillment. Gee, fuck. You like, you're unbelievable. <laughs> That's what they just said. That's dope. Remember what I told you before about this person when I told you in regards to them, which for you to be aware, like it's true. Like I know, like this is what you've been manifesting and it's here. Don't be scared of it. This is it. Shh, shh, don't be scared now, Kevin McAllister. You ain't home alone no more, Divine Finney. You ain't about to be home alone no more is what I just heard. This person sees the same thing in you and is wondering the same shit like, damn, Divine Feminine, this bitch is too good to be true. Whoever this person is, Divine Feminine, you will be looking at them the same way. If it is your divine counterpart, this person comes back. Like I said, they probably will come back with a lot of money and a bunch of material things, but that was the fucking problem in the first place. They come back ascended, though. If this is a new person, you guys are just on the same level, Divine Feminine. Either way, there is some baby mama, some bitch, though, lurking in the background at home, at. Laying on the couch and shit, watching Lifetime movies. Look at the blanket and shit. She pissed the fuck off. I could feel it. She about to eat like a big ass tub of ice cream and call her homegirls. This bitch about to, her sister, somebody. She about to bash you and this motherfucker. That's just on some, told you, community. Look, she about to tell everybody. Hotel everybody, even the mayor. Reach up in the sky for the hoes on layer. Told you. So Divine Feminine, outcome. This person, uh, this person's spouse. Luke Sky Stalker. They stalk the fuck out of your ass. Some of them already know where the fuck you live. That's uh, trespassers will be shot in this motherfucker. That's why I always say that shit. Some of y'all, this karmic knows where you live already. Just outcome. This is just some old side note shit. Has nothing to do. You don't even need to respond. Because remember what I told you in the be aware section. I'm telling you all this shit that this is the mold. This is the plant. They put this shit is all happening for a reason. So you can't even engage in this shit. Even, I mean, unless the bitch come to your house, right? Approach you, right? It's a face to face shit, right? Not no keyboard, not no text, not no none of that shit. This bitch got to be in your face for it to be a motherfucking problem. Divine feminine. This bitch ain't in your face. Let that shit go. I am talking to my motherfucker. Fucking self. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Shit, the nun ain't no motherfucking fool. I know what the fuck I'm saying. I hear y'all. I'm talking to my motherfucking self. It may be a bitch reaching out to you online, community card with the page of swords. This is definitely somebody spying a bitch, right? I don't feel like this you reaching out to a motherfucker. If this you, Divine Feminine, it's that group up there that decides to send a message to a bitch and all this shit and tell a bunch of shit. And that probably ain't Divine Feminine. That's somebody thinking she is, but nah. So I know this ain't you sending messages and shit. Be aware. This is still in the outcome, but it's still be aware. It's a bitch on your ass, Mr. Postman. The spouse of this person or the, the karmic 3D side bitch, whatever. Uh, this person either knows where you live, Divine Feminine, stalking your social media, will send you a message. Or this bitch either going to send you a message or stalk the fuck out of you, man. Stalk the fuck out of you, man. Because uh, she knows that this person is leaving her. Just so you know, Divine Feminine. On some other shit, this a person that's going to reach out to you could reach out to you through social media. Or could, if this person knows where you live, you could get a note or something on your door is what I'm hearing at your house. Or just a text message, something on social media, something like that. This person reaches out to you. Hmm. All right. That's what's up. Shit. Put one on the nine of cups, the mature man in the chair reversed.
Richard Dreyfus, Mr. Holland's Opus for dry, itchy eyes. That's my boring card for your outcome. One with Richard Dreyfus. It just feels like settling down. Like no more of that like out dating, looking. It feels real settled. Look at that motherfucker clothes. This look like y'all motherfuckers sit on the couch and like settle down. It reminds me of being settled down with this nine of cups, this mature man. This motherfucker ain't out late. This motherfucker. No, y'all ain't home. Y'all ain't home. Put another one Richard Dreyfus though, even though that's Paul Simon, but it's Richard Dreyfus to me. And the dry itchy eyes, dude. Yeah, I told you this person calm. I told you. I got a girl named Daisy. She almost drove me crazy. Woo! Big, I'm hearing a stark contrast from what you're used to, Divine Feminine. Yeah, this whoever's coming to you, Divine Feminine, this motherfucker is settled. They done sold their royal lots. They've sold their royal loads. Look at little Richard and look at Richard Dreyfus. Two Richards, two dicks. A tale of two dicks, Divine Feminine. That's two Richards. Little Richard, Richard Dreyfus. The first one was a, a dick dick, right? Now you got a good dick. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a good way to put that, but yeah. All right. This person is uh, calm down. They know what they want, Divine Feminine, whoever this is. And you know what you want. I feel like some of y'all, both of them, make, you may have to choose between two. Maybe this one is your divine counterpart, one is the new person. That's why I said you're going to have to make some decisions and figure out who's sending you what. Is it God sending you something with the north card? Or is it the devil sending you something with the spinny top? You got to be real careful, divine feminine, for those being approached by two, multiple people. Let's just say multiple. Choose wisely. I stay with that pink on, right? Think hard, but don't think long. Think hard, but don't think long, divine feminine. Don't miss an opportunity, G. Page of Wands, wealthy man, and the baboon's ass. This is this person taking a step towards you. Johnny Cash. We got married in a fever. So, a couple things, Divine Feminine. Number one, be on the lookout for some shmoney for that coin. Let the coin fall down. Some shit that y'all doing, taking some steps. I don't know what y'all doing, but y'all making, I make money moves, right? Johnny Cash with the wealthy man just on some shmoney shit. Yay, yay, Divine Feminine. Y'all just get, but I told you little shit was coming. Y'all was going to find money in purses and just some money's coming, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. Money is going to, you know why money comes to this group of divine feminines here? Because this group of divine feminines is ready to settle down in a relationship. Money is not an issue. So it's always like that. I tell y'all all the time. For those that want money, they always get love. And for those that want love, they always get money. This divine feminine, you about to get both, bitch. It's like both ours. You about to get both, bitch. But that's what happened when you were sin and get on the airplane with God and do what you're supposed to do. There is, it's a love without a limit. Hey, said I'm loving you. Loving you every day. I'm loving you. Right? Between you and God. That's how that shit go down, G. It goes down in the dim. Anyway. That's on that shit. Yeah, you're going to get some schmunty, right? On another note, the person, Divine Feminine, this person is like, uh, look, this motherfucker got them eyes, damn it. It's something about them peanut butter eyes. I don't know. Somebody got peanut butter brown eyes, Divine Feminine. Somebody got, has light color eyes or something like that. Or peanut butter brown skin or something to do with peanut butter. I keep hearing that and I don't like actual peanut butter so I'm like I don't know what that means because and it's a jar of peanut butter sitting on my counter but it's for my dog he like peanut butter shit do my dog get a bitch he is Brad Pitt that is what his like nickname is because he a pit bull so the hoes call him Brad Pitt damn maybe my dog coming up that'd be fucked up anyway I don't know why we talking about that Johnny Cash Whoever this person is, Divine Feminine, they are uh, very sexually attracted to you. Not just sexually attracted, but they are a page of wands. But it's also the, the inside, the, your qualities, the wealthy man, shit money can't buy. This person think you the whole package, dude. And I told you, whoever they were with is going to be upset because this is we got married in a fever. You and this person, I feel like, end up committing. Like, it's just right. Whoever they were with and got kids with or whatever, I feel like they never really got to that point. Or they did, but it was never... Like, went into the, it, it's not going to be what it's going to be with you, Divine Feminine. This person knows that, and when you get with this, this person already knows this shit, Divine Feminine, I feel like. I feel like you've been manifesting this person. This person is watching you, sees this shit, and some of y'all don't even know this person is coming. Some of y'all think it's your Divine Master, like, none, I ain't trying to fuck with that shit. And it's not, G, it's a whole new motherfucker. He don't, I mean, shit, he ain't like as a... Uh, Maybe out there, I feel like this person may be a little bit shy, divine feminine, or reserved or some shit, but fuck, you can bring them out, shit. Bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bell rolls in your mouth. Just got to get them to open up and speak up. I mean, once they approach you, of course, you can't do it for them, but I feel like you can break the ice. I feel like it's this person's initial... Uh, 
approach to you is going to be hard for this person is what I'm feeling. I feel like this person wants you that bad, G. That bad. Speaking of the Queen of Pentacles, like I said, I feel like y'all just, for those who have online businesses and shit, I feel like some of y'all need to rest. Yay, yay. Real shit. If you have an online business or you've been doing business online or just been doing a lot of shit on the computer and shit, like for work, I feel like you need to chill out just for a second, Divine Feminine. I feel like a lot of hard workers on, on, uh, in this reading, like real shit, like really about that money. And that's why you're getting love now. Maybe that's why God is sending it like, okay, 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 okay. I reload it. Right? And maybe that's why. Because it's like you're so ambitious and driven. Like you don't want to. She keeps passing me by. She keeps passing me by. You don't want life to pass you by, Divine Feminine. So, yeah, there's time for some fun. All work and no play makes Divine Feminine a dull, a dull girl, man. One on this Queen of Pentacles here. Oops, wrong cards. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and Community in the table. It's that foundation and it's that bitch. Yeah. Oh, did I not say Erica Badu next lifetime? Even though this Nina Simone, but those that watch me know this is my Erica Badu card. So yeah, it is to that other bitch. I guess I'll see you next lifetime. Right? Yeah. No hard feelings. And this is Nina's blues. Yeah, somebody heart get broke, Divine Feminine. But I don't feel like it's you, bitch. Because you came over here with the chair reversed with your nine of cups and your pubic hair. And you got to choose between two menses. I feel like this is this person's spouse here. Nina's blues. She gonna be a thorn in your side. I'm telling you, G. She is. That's, that's what this is. There's some home. Uh, this person has some baggage, Divine Feminine, with this Nina, Simone, and uh, Erica Badu card. Hold on. I'm still looking. Damn, this motherfucking video getting long. Shit, let me hurry up. Yeah, this person want to put some sugar in your bowl, Divine Feminine. Ew! I like sugar. Now, can we? Okay. All right. So, you got sugar and peanut butter. This sounds sticky, <laughs> Divine Feminine. Ew. Yeah. Th yeah. My cypher keeps moving like a rolling stone. Divine feminine. All this is uh, divinely guided. All this is supposed to happen. On and on. My cypher keeps moving like a rolling stone. Yeah. This is, all, this is all supposed to happen the way that this is, divine feminine. That's why they're telling me. They told me to reiterate that be aware section. Be careful, divine feminine, of not involving yourself in no fuck shit. It's really important this week for y'all that want this relationship and this to form. You got to stay in your highest form is what they're saying. Be careful. Because this is uh, on and on. My cypher keeps moving like a rolling stone. This is a, uh, you're a, uh, you're in charge of the trajectory, how fast this moves, how slow this moves, which direction that the cipher rolls, all of that shit, right? All of that. This is in regards to you, in regards to your money, your business, your health, resting, and all that shit. Momentum. Make sure you're, at, you're moving at a comfortable speed, Divine Feminine, is the outcome. You know what I mean? That's what I'm picking up with this as far as even this relationship, business, your wishes coming true, the downloads. It's going to be a busy week, but it's a blessed and fulfilled week is what I'm feeling, Divine Feminine. So this whole whoever this karmic bitch is, she like really, this is just a bag lady, you gon' hurt your back. Dragging all them bags like that. Don't be this bitch, Divine Feminine. It's some salty bitch on your ass, Mr. Postman. But, I mean, shit, that's not even in regards to you, but just pack light. Pack light, Divine Feminine. Don't take no negative energy with you in the next seven days. I feel like there's a commitment on the horizon, G. Real shit, okay? This was a damn good read, Divine Feminine. Damn good, damn good. And I know my neighbor's tired of me doing that shit, but I don't give a fuck. Shit. Anyway, <laughs> I am the only like a uh, brown person on this floor too. I know they'd be like that bitch, man. When when she gonna move, man? <laughs> when she gonna move? They're gonna Rufus and shit again. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I just know they be bad and shit. Moving on. Divine feminine. That's been your reading for the next seven days. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Divine Feminine. Give no fit nucks. Still, thank you for visiting my channel and my tripping or not tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the ghetto nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.